Hello everyone, this is Beverly Black. Today we're going to be making a carrot cake mini bunt cakes. And if you stay until the end, I will have five hacks that you can use when making cakes with box cakes with box cake mix to make your cakes taste homemade. So stay tuned so you can learn more. So today we are going to be using cake mix and I'm going to show you a few tricks how to make cake mix taste like homemade cakes. But the ingredients that you need for today is any kind of uh, carrot cake mix, Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, store brand, whatever choice you want to use, three fourth cups of water, a half cup of canola oil, three eggs, and I'm using one cup of sour cream and I have two tablespoons of mayonnaise mixed in with the sour cream. So let's begin the process. Now we're going to add in the oil and that's a half cup of granola oil. Now we add the three eggs one at a time. Now we will add in the sour cream, which is a cup of sour cream, and I'm putting two tablespoons of mayonnaise in with it. Mix it up together. Have your oven preheated at 350 degrees. I have these four small little bunt pans and I have these larger bunt pan for the overflow. Okay, I'm going to spray my, um, my pans and I am using Pam baking spray. Make sure you get round the little circle part. Put it in the individual bump pans. 
I'm using this teaspoon, see if I can get it in like this. I had filled up all the little bunt pans. I only had enough to go into one section in this larger bunt pan. But I have four smaller ones ready to go. The oven is already preheated at 350 degrees. And you bake them for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. I'll be back when they're done. The bunt cakes are out of the oven and have cooled completely and now we're getting ready to make the icing. For this icing you need two cups of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar. It's the same. Eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese at room temperature. Let it soften. Put that in here. A fourth cup of butter, and I'm using unsalted butter. A fourth cup. Soften at room temperature. And one teaspoon of vanilla vanilla extract or whatever your fl flavor is that you would like. One teaspoon. Then mix it all together. The icing is made, and now I'm going to just drizzle it all over the um, bunt case. You can also get a quart plastic bag, fill it up, and um, put a hole in it, and squeeze it out like a pastry bag. They are ready. I just put the glaze in spots and places. But I was gonna give you the five, the five tips, really six tips now. And this will make a box cake mix. Just change it up and elevate the cake and give it a, a more of a homemade taste. You can add one of these at a time. You don't have to add all five, but one at a time. Try it and see how you like it. A cup of sour cream to the cake mix. A box of um, pudding, whatever your flavor is. Use milk instead of water. When it calls for water, use milk. Use butter instead of oil. Add a teaspoon of your favorite, favorite extract. And also, you can add in two tablespoons of mayonnaise to give it more moisture. So those are the tips to making a box cake taste like homemade. Thank you so much for stopping by. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more because you are God's masterpiece.
and our God does not make any junk. I sliced into one of them so you can see how it looks on the inside. Look at that. That looks really good.